welcome back to Pretty Girl Gang TV, where we do nothing but conduct pretty girl business. Okay. It's your girl, Janina, here, and I am back with episode two of exposing your favorite IG brands, girl. If you are new to my channel, this video is actually a part of a series that I have here on my channel. I do have a playlist of all the episodes here, but this is only episode two. So if you missed episode one, girl, I will link it down or link it up in the cards below. But this is episode two of exposing your favorite IG brands. And what we do in this segment of my channel is I haul clothes from your favorite viral IG boutiques girl that all the IG models are promoting and all the big YouTubers are promoting and tagging in their photos, okay? Because we wanna look like that too, girl. We wanna make sure these IG boutiques are legit and their clothes are legit. So we, the consumer, can look nice too, okay? I am also addicted to IG brand boutiques. I love how they like to stand out and be different. Some of them are like reworked and handmade custom things and I am just in love with that. So that's what we do in this series and this is episode two, girl. And in today's video, we are going to be exposing Baddieville, okay? If you guys have not heard about Baddieville, Baddieville is a viral IG boutique or one of y'all favorite IG brands. And I have actually had Baddieville on my list for a while. I have seen a lot of different affiliate people and they're not really like big YouTubers or big influencers, but I have seen that Baddieville has tons of little influencers that have a bunch of codes, which is good because it's always good to get 10, 15, or 20% off, okay? But Baddieville legit has some really nice codes on their IG page, okay? Anyway, girl, I am not gonna make this intro long, okay? We are gonna get straight into the haul, so let go. As always, I'm gonna give you guys a little rundown on Baddieville, okay? This is the packaging that it came in. I can't show you the other side because it has my address on it, girl. But I will assure you, like, I fell in love because you guys know I love pink. So this packaging is really, really cute. Before I get started on the haul, you guys know that I give you, like, a little bit of rundown on the IG brand. So this IG brand is called Baddieville, and you can purchase all of their stuff on baddieville.com. And I just love that name, Baddieville. Don't you just love that name? I love anything that has to do with baddies bad bitches okay if you guys follow me on ig you know that i am known as the bad guy on twitter on facebook on all the other things i am known as the bad guy so i just love the bad aesthetic and just baddies and baddie bills and everything okay they also have a little mission statement that said clothes created for baddies around the world and i love that oh my gosh i love that because i'm a baddie okay <laughs> Anyway, where was I, girl? So, Baddieville is actually a very popular brand. It has 658,000 followers, which is a lot of followers. Like, that's almost a million followers. So, it's pretty popular. It's pretty big. Like I said, they do have tons of affiliate codes out there. There are, like, smaller influencers. I have seen bigger influencers as well. But there are a lot of smaller influencers out there that have codes that you can get 15% off. And you're helping a smaller influencer. Unfortunately, I did not use a 15% off code I had one and then I totally forgot about it I was checking out and I was in a rush so girl I know I love my discount codes and for some reason I don't know why I just missed that okay but I did use afterpay okay you guys know I love the afterpay now if you have afterpay on your site I'm coming for you okay so Baddieville does have afterpay they do have PayPal they do have all that good stuff on the checkout in their website it was very easy to go on their website and purchase my items and then check out so i didn't have any problem with that i didn't have any problem with shipping either my order shipped out within the three business days so when i checked out it told me that to give them a two to three day processing time and then my order will be shipped out which i feel like is pretty normal for all the other brands i mean sometimes brands will just ship it out the next day like posh by v posh by v was very very quick okay um they sent it out but you know i feel like two to three days is typical processing time i am a millennial girl i i like my stuff to come really really fast okay but i feel like my items did come fast two things i do want to mention though about baddieville that i noticed that kind of was a problem so the first thing was their clothes are very very nice but 
they are not all on models okay some of their clothes are just like laid out flat on the floor or on like you know a decorative surface so you can't really see how the clothes look i kind of like when people put clothes on models and on bodies you know so that way you can see how it looks you can see how it stretches you can kind of gauge on how it's going to look on you so i didn't like that about the website some of the clothes like and i would say not, not even some probably like most of the clothes were just laid out flat so i would have liked to seen models on the clothes the second thing I do want to mention is that I only purchased three items, girl, and that's like not typical of me. I normally like to purchase four to five items to give you guys a good range of haul, but Battyville's inventory was very, very low. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. That's obviously a good thing because obviously, girl, they are selling out their clothes and they are getting their bag. They're making money and they're hot. Okay, that's a good thing. But as a consumer, I just felt like, dang, like most of the stuff that I wanted to get, like they had some really cute dresses, you know, Valentine's Day is coming up. So I am looking for a Valentine's Day outfit and they had some really cute dresses and they were like all low in stock or just sold out or just all the sizes that I wanted were sold out. So I feel like their inventory game was a little low, girl. I felt kind of frustrated because most of the items that I wanted were either sold out or all of the sizes were sold out. But like I said, you know, that's not necessarily a bad thing because obviously they're making their money. But I feel like, you know, when are they going to restock? You know, when are they going to restock? Maybe I'll revisit the site and see if they restock again and I can like update you guys in the description bar down below. So without further ado, let's try on some clothes, honey. And the first thing I'm going to try on for you guys is this really cute lace jumper. I will bring it a little closer so you guys can see. It's like shorts and it has like this lace on the thighs. Oh my goodness, so cute, girl. So I picked this out for Valentine's Day. I told you guys I am looking for a Valentine's Day outfit for my little day, okay? So I did pick this out and I really like the color. They actually had it in red and I believe khaki also. And I just feel like this is gonna look so bomb. So let's try this one on. This is the first outfit here, this nice cute lace bodysuit. I am holding my boobs because yes girl it is see-through and you can kind of see my nips girl okay i don't want to get in trouble from youtube because youtube already took down my replica handbag video girl but that's another video okay we'll talk about that and get ready with me anyway like i said it is kind of see-through here so you'll probably have to buy some nipple covers and i love the color girl i did purchase this in a size medium and i feel like i should have purchased it in a small because it would have been like tighter and more cute but the material is very stretchy and it just looks really good i feel really cute and sexy in it so i think you know what i think my valentine's day search is over girl i think i'm gonna go ahead and use this bodysuit for valentine's day this bodysuit does have adjustable straps and i will turn around so you guys can see i hope you guys can see the leg part here let me see because i'm five feet i'm really short i could engage whether these outfits were stretchy or not because they weren't on models like i said most of the clothes were just laid flat on the floor so i purchased the medium but i do feel like i could have purchased the small and got away with it girl like this is some really good stretch. It's very comfortable. And I do like the color. The color is really cute. It's like a lavender pale blue. Yeah, that's the first outfit. So, so far, so good. Let's go ahead and try on our other one. This is the second outfit that I purchased. Okay, it's like a blue striped bodysuit. And it's very comfortable. I feel like it's a tad bit too big. I have like some space right here. If you guys can see in my crotch area, it's like a little space. But like I said, I bought a size medium in all of these items because I could not gauge the way the items look because some of them weren't on an actual model. And also, you know, like in the description box of items, they have like, you know, if it's stretchy or not, they didn't have that on there. So I just wanted to be safe. So I bought a medium. So that's my fault that I got a little space right here, girl. So that's my fault. But other than that, I really like the outfit. It's very soft. And very comfortable like what do they call this a play suit or a bodysuit i feel like you can dress this up or you can dress this down you can wear it with some cute heels some cute clear heels girl because i've been wearing clear heels a lot they seem to go with everything okay and it does go up to the knee right here i don't know if you guys can see it stops at the knee there i'll turn around so you guys can see the entire outfit this is how the outfit looks 
It's very good at like accentuating your curves. I feel like it accentuates my curves really, really good. And like I said, it's very comfortable. And I don't know what it is with me in blue, girl. Like if y'all notice, I've been wearing a lot of blue lately, especially on my Instagram. I've been wearing a lot of blue, so I don't know if I'm just attracted to blue now. I have a blue Jeep Wrangler now, so I don't know what's up with me in blue. So this color just actually gravitated towards me because they did actually have some other colors. I think they had a khaki and white stripe and black and white stripe. You guys know I love the black and white stripe, but I have a lot of black and white stripe stuff. So I'm trying to go kind of outside of the box. So I bought this color, but I'm not mad. I'm not disappointed. It's really cute. And like I said, it's very comfortable and you can just dress it up and dress it down, girl. What are you guys feeling? Okay, what are you guys feeling? What are you guys thinking about these outfits so far? This is our second outfit and everything's just looking right everything seems to be feeling right so we have our last outfit on the way so let me go ahead and get that out and we will try that one also okay gang so this is my last and final outfit from baddieville and it is a two-piece and it is white as you can see girl like duh i'm sure you can see it's white and i did purchase this in size medium also and i also feel like i could have went a small because the stretch is really good i just love when clothes have really good stretch and they're just cute and comfy like that's my thing like i swear the older i get like i want to look cute but i also want to be comfy at the same time okay so it is a long sleeve two-piece and it is a crop top as you can see it has like a v-neck opening here and it goes down to my knees so it's like a biker short set i guess you can call it and i will turn around so you guys can see the entire outfit there and i'm really feeling this outfit also it's kind of basic but at the same time i feel like it's really cute and you can also dress this up and dress this down as well it is all white and i am not the one to wear all white girl because i feel like i just get dirty i forget sometimes i have makeup on and i'll wipe my face or something so it gets on my clothes but despite the white color i do like it they did have other colors but they were all sold out like i said the inventory was like pretty low so I was forced to choose the white but I do like the actual outfit itself okay like I said I feel like this is like a cute but casual but also a dressed up outfit if you were to wear the right heel also it's a two-piece set girl I feel like you can't go wrong with two-piece sets I mean they go together it's easy you just pull them out the closet and put them on like I have a bunch of two-piece sets so there was no surprise that I didn't pick a two-piece set today okay but what are you guys thinking okay this is the end of my haul so I'm gonna give you guys my conclusion on baddieville.com your favorite IG brand and I will say baddieville.com gets a thumbs up for me okay all of these clothes seem to fit even though I did get a size up which is a size medium and i could have actually went and got a small because the stretch is really good in each and every outfit i really do like that like i said the older i get the more comfortable i want to be i want to be cute but i want to be comfortable at the same time and i feel like baddieville is giving me that cute and comfortable vibe the outfits are bomb girl they look exactly like they do on the website it's not like you know a reality versus expectation thing when you're looking at something and it's totally different when you get it in the mail so i feel like baddieville did a good job with their overall clothes the only thing like i said my little reservations i have with it was that they didn't have models with some of the clothes that they were showcasing so it's kind of hard for you to see how that outfit looks because i i personally like them on models so i can see how they look and also like i said the inventory was very low but that's okay girl because maddieville has some pretty good clothes so i feel like i'll be back to shop again and hopefully they are fully stocked with the clothes because i'm gonna go ham because these clothes are really bomb and cute but what did you guys think about episode two of exposing your favorite ig brands on my channel girl is there any other ig brand that you guys want me to see i already have a list planned out but if you guys have any suggestions on any of your favorite ig brands that you would like me to expose or try girl on camera i will try that for you guys if you guys like this video give me a girl a like subscribe to my channel if you want to girl if you want to okay and i will see you in my next video bye bye